So Seabass gave me a call a couple weeks ago uh, saying they were wanting to shoot a sodium digital series on sheephead and mangrove snapper. And I was like, super excited to get out there and, and get Gavin out there on some. I mean, we're right in the heart of it. It being February, right in the middle of the sheephead spawn. Uh, typically that goes on from January to March. So we're right in the heart of it and uh, it looks like it was going to be a good day for us. So we made that run out here about 25 miles, sitting out here in about 28 foot of water. So we're right here kind of in the middle of the sheephead spawn. Um, January to March is when they're out here. So we're right there in the heart of it and we should uh, should have a good day ahead of us here. Yeah, man, I've been seeing a lot of your stuff on social media. I've been really excited for the past couple weeks. Um, you know, I really don't get out here much. I'm in the shop most of the time, so I'm excited to be out here. Let's, hey, see, let's see if we can get some fish. Let's get after it. A lot of them out here right now, and this is kind of about the average size. You get some, you know, a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller, but it's a good one right here. Let's keep catching more. Let's do well, it. Well, sheephead fishing, um, they're real structure oriented fish. I mean, they can be found anywhere from six to 30 foot of water this time of the year. Um, shrimp is going to be the, the bait of choice out there with it being readily accessible. Uh, they're crustacean eaters, so getting the bait to the bottom using a jig head or a knocker rig is going to be the most effective method just depending on how deep you are um, and you can catch a lot of fish while doing this i mean there's a lot of stuff that lives down there and it provides for an action-packed day We finished our day up uh, right where we had started at Shrimp Landing. We got back, cleaned the fish up right there at their fillet tables. Um, brought some of those fillets up to the on-site food truck to have some really great tacos made. We were able to wrap up a great day with Gavin out there and I really look forward to getting the sodium guys back out there and doing another video sometime soon.